Hi y'all, we're in Esther 2, verses 16 through 18. Then Esther was taken to King Asuerus at his royal residence in the 10th month, that is the month of Tibet, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther more than all the other women. And she met with his loving approval more than all the other young women. So he placed the royal high turban on her head and appointed her queen in place of Vashti. Then the king prepared a large banquet for all his officials and his servants. It was actually Esther's banquet. He also set aside a holiday for the provinces and he provided for offerings at the king's expense. So here we are. She's been selected queen. He loves her more than anyone else. She's going to be queen instead of Vashti. And then, and the king's so happy. He's so thrilled that he's got a new queen that he's throwing another banquet. Hopefully this banquet will work out better than the first one he threw. But, and then at the end, it talks about that. He was so happy through the banquet and then all over the provinces, he made a holiday. They didn't have to pay taxes and he gave them gifts. So we're, you know, we learned that he's very, um, suggestible, you know, with, with the deal with Vashti, but also that he's generous. He crowns Esther and then provides a, a banquet for her and then shares that happiness with everyone in his kingdom through the holiday and the taxes and the gifts. So now that Esther is queen, what will happen? We'll talk about that a little more tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.